What's up snoozers? In today's video, we'll be doing two different things. First one is me turning this beautiful tin can into a palette. And it's not really a watercolor palette because the paint I'm using is only one white, which is watercolor, and then four acrylic paints. I know what you're thinking. Acrylic paint? Really? But this acrylic paint sucks. It sucks. I had it dried up in another palette that I used and then I could reactivate the paint and reuse it over and over again with just water. Which made me think I could potentially make it into a watercolor set because why not I mean why not try you know I filled the half pans two days ago and today I had to refill them because when the paint dried unlike the white watercolor paint the acrylic paint dried so thinly because it was just so watery to the point where there was just a thin layer left in the half pants. So I feel like this will take me a few days to actually complete because the acrylic paint is so runny, it's so watery that every time it dries up and it like becomes super thin as a very thin layer. I need of course to refill it a few more times to have like at least half the half pan filled if you know what I mean. Also doesn't know me as a person, I get very anxious when I can't utilize the space or the materials I'm working with, which makes me very very anxious dealing with this tin can. It's a very deep tin can, it's a lot deeper deeper than the two I made into palettes which is a video I'll be having in the right corner up there and yeah I got anxious about the fact I couldn't utilize the whole space and depth of the tin can and decided that I will try my best to make two different levels metal so that I can still use the magnets that I had taped um, at the bottom of the half pants from last video and I, mm, I it was a struggle to find the right level so that I could put two pants on top of each other and close the lid without having paint transfer to the lid. I didn't want the paint to transfer to the lid of my can. That doesn't mean you have to follow the exact thing I'm doing or thrive to have the same functions as the can I'm making or the, the palette I'm making. So feel free to just watch this and Maybe not even watch this part, but the later one, which is me doodling plants, by the way, if you're interested. And yeah, well, I tried my best and I managed to find the perfect height. And well, I filled up the half pants and then I them in the can and then I started doodling because I thought the video was boring for you to watch so I gave you two things in one video two very poorly executed things in one video so sorry for that I still am very bad at posting on Instagram because I really don't like posting on Instagram that is not an excuse that is just reality. I'm kind of tired of that 
social media place. It makes me. It doesn't motivate me to post. I just like being on there and watch people's posts. I don't like to post myself, which is a problem that I have in all my accounts. And I am thinking of just stop pressuring myself to post there because maybe the pressure I put on myself is the reason why I don't like posting it's not the fact that I have to post something good it's the fact that I have to post that makes me go nuts I think maybe who knows do you know tell me in the comments below do you know do you know the reason so that's it, that's all I have to say for this voiceover and I hope that you have a very beautiful day ahead of you and night and things and just to be happy for a day even though the world is having a crisis as of now. Yeah. I hope that you have a beautiful, beautiful week and i'll see you next time in another daydream bye go ahead and wake up now adios bye thank you for watching by the way Imaginary.